All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking football, and we're doing a draft matchup breakdown brought to you by SeatGeek. And we're looking at Alabama left tackle Evan Neal versus Georgia Edge D lineman Trayvon Walker, which is a fun matchup because th- these two guys are, you know, slated to go top of the draft. You know, Evan Neal, top five. Walker has, you know, you've seen him all the way up at five and some down low, you know, towards like the late teens, but both two first round picks in the SEC. So you get these good matchups. I want to go through, they had. Let's see. So they had 12, 12 reps next uh, against each other. And I thought there was a lot of like good battling, but Evan Neal won at the end of the day. But let's go through it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. we got all types of draft breakdowns. More singular player, but I do want to do some more of these matchups as they come out. Like I'd love to do Ikea Kwanu versus Jermaine Johnson from FSU. So let's get into it. Evan Neal versus Georgia linebacker or, or edge Trayvon Walker. D-line. First rep. And what I like about these guys is they both punch, like, time their punches really well. So it's a strength versus strength matchup. So first rep, good set by Evan Neal. Decent get off by Trayvon Walker. Again, you see both, they both shoot their hands at the right time, you know. Evan Neal could maybe have been a little more patient or, or got, try to get those hands inside, but they're both well-timed punches. You can see the long arms of Evan Neal get in there. And what Trayvon Walker does, if you know this isn't just a single Trayvon Walker, but he likes to do the you know that violent punch and bull rush. And Evan Neal, what does he do? He's got that right hand up on him. Break it down. Break it down. So good rep for Evan Neal. Maybe power this right foot down as he's doing that to stop him from that inside move. But good, good rep from Evan Neal. Either on the backside of a run. Again, not the greatest rep for either. So Evan Neal's on the backside of this. What I would say for Evan Neal, swing those hips around. Swing those hips around to, to, to hinge him off. Try and get him up here, even though Trayvon Walker is never really going to do that. Evan Neal's won the hand placement battle, you know, and he's way bigger, and they're at the same, you know, pad level at this point. But Trayvon Walker's able to get that left hand and jack him up and raise his pad level. What I would say for Walker is, you know, maybe try and disengage off this a little quicker. Like, you've won here, and I think that's one of the bigger Trayvon Trayvon Walker's biggest issues. Like, he needs to disengage quicker. He's got the strength in the hands to do it. But again, in, inconsequential rep. Next, we got this RPO pass or this play action pass. Definitely a win for Trayvon Walker on this, even though the ball gets out with plenty of you know, plenty of space, but because it's a quick throw. Evan Neal quick setting for this play action run, and you see the the strength and power of Trayvon Walker's hands. Get some high on these shoulder pads. He's leaning. His feet stop moving. Dump him. I mean, that's dumping a six foot seven, three hundred forty pound man. What I would say for Neil on this is try and play the full man a little more, but still not bad up to this point. But keep your feet moving. I know it's play action, balls out. But that, that I mean, that would be my critique of Neil on this one. Here on this inside, uh, ends up being a. a play action throw or an RPO Neil definitely wins the rep hands inside he tries he when he tries to disengage you redirect with him but you see how powerful and quick Walker's hands are that he's able to get those hands under the shoulder pads and raise Evan Neal's pad level to be able to disengage. But he's just got to do it quicker. Quicker and more consistently. Like it's got to be, it just doesn't seem natural for him at this point. And I know Georgia, you know, they don't let him freestyle as much, but there's still more that Walker could do within, within the Georgia defense. Good effort by Walker. 
Bam, bam, bam. Wash the feet of Neil. Good feet. Bam, bam, bam. Good punch. I mean, beautiful punch. Walker's working inside. Good feet to power down by Evan Neal. But again, you see, you see this the power and strength of of Walker. He gets so he brings those hands really well too, and keeps those feet driving, and he's pushing Evan Neal back again. Not is Evan Neal, you know, go, is his O line coach getting out on him for that rep a lot? Probably not, but still, like it affects the quarterback. And this is where you see Trayvon Walker's strength show up to be able to move Evan Neal back like that. Evan Neal does a good job recovering, but you see the Walker strength. Next rep. Evan Neal brings the hands, rolls the hips through. But you see, again, you can't see Walker's hands, but you see how he's got these this pad level raised up by Evan Neal, and Evan Neal has got the highest pad level of all these guys right now. That's why he's just got to add to that. Start adding moves, adding ways to disengage. Because Evan Neal gets him five yards off the ball. Like, that's a great block by Evan Neal. You see the, you know, you see the strength. Again, Evan Neal's raised up at this point. His feet are skinny, but he's still able to move them. See, Evan Neal has really good hand placement inside. I'd like to see Evan Neal's feet roll through with this. And it's a lot of the same. Hands are both being placed at the same exact time. Both use their hands well on that initial punch. Now this running back bounces this. So Walker's able to come and, you know, affect the running back. Sorry, I got clipped out over there. But if he disengages quicker... If he sees this bounce right here, he's able to disengage. But again, he's got to play his gap, but still. We're starting here. Good job setting the edge by Trayvon Walker. He never loses ground setting the edge. So I give that that win to Trayvon Walker, You know, uh, even including that the play wasn't made to go outside for Evan Neal. Next rep, back pass blocking. Quick feet by Evan Neal. Bam, bam, bam. Good punch. He brings that inside move. He's ready for it. Right foot powers down. Beautiful. Controlling him with his hands. Feet moving quick. Base staying wide. Good knee bend. Just a beautiful rep. Just totally, totally eliminates Trayvon Walker from this rep. Like, he's there. He's got that punch. He's got his feet wide. He's got his right foot powering down. He's got perfect proportion. And this is a beautiful rep for Evan Neal. A beautiful rep. And he gets to celebrate a touchdown on it. Get those hands up, Evan Neal. Beautiful rep. Evan Neal's best rep of the game, possibly. And he gets to he gets to celebrate like that. And if you want to celebrate, there's more, there's more coming after this. But if you want to celebrate like Evan Neal and go to a game and have a good time... Well, guys, I got something for you. I got something for you. SeatGeek. This this uh, breakdown is sponsored by SeatGeek. Live events are back, which means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code GIANTS. Evan Neal is a giant. Use promo code GIANTS, though. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones. I use it all the time for whatever sporting events I'm going to. Um... I'd love to get to USFL game, by the way. Maybe, maybe we'll we'll use it for that uh, and get some good deals. Get like a you know a batch of tickets. Get twenty dollars off. You might be going for damn near free. SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to ten to make sure you are getting a good deal. Green means good, red means bad. Simple as that. Every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee, so you can shop for tickets with confidence. 
And again, we've got the hookup. Use code GIANTS for $20 off at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code GIANTS. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. All right, let's finish this off. Got a quick set by Neil. Good first step with Neil. But take one more. Take one more so you can get the full man relationship on this. You see Walker times it up, gets his punch inside. Evan Neal's hands are outside. Now I'm bull rushing. Evan Neal goes to, you see that right hand goes to break that off. But it's kind of too late and he's got that, you know, Trayvon Walker's obviously got that hand strength to push him back. And Evan Neal does a decent job recovering on this, but this is definitely a win for Trayvon Walker. Punch is a little early for Neal, but not bad. And this is where you see like that speed to power for Trayvon Walker. Again, the ball's out, but that's a win. That's a win for Trayvon Walker. This next rep, the tight end chips. So, you know, this rep I wouldn't look at too consequentially. But Walker gets those hands on. Watch Evan Neal break them off. Good job right there. Reload the hands. Get them back on. Good rep, even though that's not that's not really a rep to... That's a good rep for Evan Neal, but it's not a rep you're judging Trayvon Walker negatively on. Good rep by Neil here. Good feet. Set. Hands are a little high on the punch. Which allows Walker to, you know, grab those hands and pull them down. But you see the strength of Neil. He's able to reload. Punch. Good rep for Evan Neal. Here's a win. I hate the, how the camera cuts off. But this here is a win for Trayvon Walker. Bam! See those violent hands of Trayvon Walker. Able to get uh, a Neil a little off balance, get his hips open, and then he's able to work back inside. And that's the stuff you want to see more consistently out of Trayvon Walker. Want to see more reps like that consistently. So he can do that. He has the power. He has the power to, you know, push that outside shoulder, get that corner open. That's going to open up for opportunities to bend the edge. And I know this isn't a full walker breakdown. To bend the edge. And then when those hips are open up, then you can jump inside. And you, you can just play mind games with a tackle. So that's the stuff these need to add on. Because, look, what pass rush moves did we see from Trayvon Walker in this clip besides just bull rush? You didn't see any. You really didn't see any. You didn't see any counters besides this. So. And then the last rep. Good rep for Evan Neal. punch. Trayvon Walker tries to rip through inside. Watch the feet of Neil. Stay wide. Short. Choppy. Power down. Power down. Good rep for Evan Neal. So again, good stuff from both. Uh, more so from Evan Neal. Trayvon Walker, you see why people like him, but uh, Trayvon Walker's got a lot to add to his game. And I think you know that's why I don't think he's in like uh, the top 10 range right now for me. Now, he's a guy you can work with. Maybe he'll make me sound dumb at the end of the day. But I feel like he's just got he's got a lot to add with. So he's got to get the right coaching staff who teaches him how to use his hands. And I know Georgia doesn't let their guys freestyle as much. Um, but there is the, he does leave me wanting more. And then Evan Neal, not the perfect tackle prospect, but he's definitely the best in this class. He's got things to work on. And I thought it showed up, it showed up in this game why why he may even be the number one pick in the draft. So make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.